The general plan is we need to get some tools together, remove the fence to the yard, build the platform, use an excavator to sling this onto the platform we made. Then it's in place, fix it down. And then from there we can do the chicken coop renos. Ladies, they're growing up fast. Hey guys. So we're going to take down the fence. Good morning. That's Operation Chicken Coop. So, do we have a plan? Like it goes right up there. It's one big run. So we've come up with a pretty simple plan. I'm just going to cut it here and then when we need to fix it back cut it just down there a bit where those gripples are and I'll just reinstall another say three metre section of this type of wire and put a row of gripples here and a row of gripples there or even just join it there with a figure eight and tighten it back up again. So I'm just going to do this here like I've done just cut it and bend it back that'll just take just hold this bit up and then uh, we're going to have a, fence, a hole in the fence, Deliza. So all we're going to do basically is just measure the uh, the rectangular perimeter of this lower section and we'll just make another rectangular frame with legs that's in the ground and then we'll cut these off by level with the bottom here and then we'll basically pick this up with the digger okay cut list cut list two at 1100 okay 36.50 actually it was four at 11 because i'll put one on each end and then I'll just divide it into thirds and do that because this has got already got cross braces in it. Oh, okay. So we'll just do like a perimeter with one, two, three, four. Right. We've got a plan. Need a battle. So this is some existing 90 by 45 we already had. Uh, we're reusing this. Out of this piece, I'm going to be cutting two at 100, so we're just going to screw this frame together, pretty basic, two sides, four intermediates. I know my timber's 45, so I'm going to pre-drill this side, the sides first, and then we'll just screw the bugles, 100mm bugles, into that. So I'm just going to come in uh, 20... What's half of 45? 22? 22. So that there. And then 36.50 into thirds is 12.16-ish. Alright, that's uh, just a 5mm bit. I've lost my marks now. What sort of height do you want to put the like, base of the of the Taj Mahal app. So we've been doing some, well I've been doing some chicken coop research and there was a couple of features that I particularly liked. One oh. was, <laughs> what did you do? It's a chicken again, it keeps scaring me. <laughs> <sighs> I'll introduce you to our boss lady. Boss lady, chicken, boss chicken this lady. This is our boss lady. Oh, look at that. Her name is just her name is just Boss, 
She likes a good scratch, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So, boss lady. And she ha she eats mice, like, whole. I don't know if that's terrifying or... It's actually interesting to watch how you managed to down whole mice. Alright. Are you going to sit there? What are you going to do? You want a little, little scratch? You can hop on the ute. Oh, you go wherever you like. So as I was saying... <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, there was a few features which I thought would be really good for the chicken coop. One of those was to have uh, a side that opened up that we can open that door and lean in comfortably and do any cleaning and maintenance we need to do. And possibly also high enough to get a wheelbarrow underneath. What do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I like that idea. Don't scare me again. <laughs> oh, before, I was walking over there, there's a little bit of long grass, and she come <laughs> bolting out of the grass, frightened the crap out of me. I thought, I don't know what it was. <laughs> I still got the heebie-jeebies because of the bloody <laughs> snake we saw the other week. So anything in the long grass, honey? So I've just laid these out here, how we're sort of going to go. Um, I'll just get me bits. And we're not building a Swiss watch, so it doesn't have to be too good. But, you know, it's got to be kind of square and straight and stuff. We have frame. We'll take this and dump it on the ground into what we think is the right position. I mean, the other alternative is so that, that is a good shade, like a good amount of shade. Yeah. Yeah. We don't really want to move it. No. Because that fence. Because that will be open. Yeah. I think we got our spot. We had a casualty. I reckon somewhere there. Maybe I dock a bit off. What do you think? Yeah, because we still want to be able to lean in and we stuff and things. We want you to be able to lean in. And why is that? Because we've got to make things that are suitable for Amanda, because she's short. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like this to hit me with now? <laughs> going to rapid set this in. I haven't checked the levels, I'm just going off Amanda's checking. Who's got a good eye? She got a good eye, hence why she picked me. <laughs> just using your standard rapid set. Sunday morning, 
So it's the next day or two, whatever, two days. Um, the wind bloody picked up like you wouldn't believe. So we decided not to lift this up because it is quite fragile. We're not exactly sure if it's going to survive the journey to over there <laughs> yet. So today we're going to try and lift it up and get it in there. Hey, let me in there. You're in there. Oh, you've got the weight. <laughs> Okay, so we got it here. The coop is a bit out of square to our frame. So, I don't know, the front seems to be about 10 mil out and the back's about 50 mil out. So we're just gonna fix this side, this length of the coop to our frame. And then I'll get a ratchet strap and just try and pull this side that way. Just a little bit, maybe only that far, just so it looks square from the front. Not worried about the back. Cause we're gonna have a little ramp or something coming off here. It's good, and we saved the light. All right, I'll um, go find some tools and stuff. I'll be back. Maybe and bring the hook up so I can hook onto that shackle at about here. nimble as a gazelle a dead one <laughs> we'll see what the boss lady reckons chewed by horses in the as we said before I quite like it looks I a do. bit looks a bit rustic you know yeah so and I it's... might put another copper log like that one here yeah I like that to idea. support this roof because there was one there but the horses chewed it yeah. and then we'll make a ramp like a removable one so if I need to come in here with a mower I can just lift it up and mow we're gonna get some sort of electronic like automatic door uh, but to start with we'll just have a 
I'll just get a bit of plywood or something and on a hinge or whatever, a little, little latch just for now until we get the automatic one. Another little door here. How we can scoop the poo out from the dry bedding type, is that what it's called? Dry bedding, like... Oh, like a deep bedding? Yeah, or deep just bedding, whatever. wood chippy type, chicken pooey type thing into the wheelbarrow. So you can see what I mean, sorry, by how far out of square it was on the back. So it's nearly... not that far. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, so Amanda was talking about maybe putting, leaving this here and taking these short bits off and putting a bit of mesh over there for some ventilation. I think that's a good idea. Yep. Now on this side, we're going to have nesting boxes, sides, a back and a bottom, and a little hinged lid. And then we look at the, the paint scheme. So that was a successful mission? It was. You've been rolling around in the dirt. Yeah, that was me filming you when you're underneath. Yes, that worked well. So we've got it over here in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. See you on the next one. Thanks, folks. Bye. Bye.